want to support the channel i got some merch um already i have merch and i'm gonna include it right here if you want to go to uh jabbing company on instagram i'm gonna put it right here jabbing company and i'm gonna also put the website information right here where you can go and support uh jabbing company that way that will directly support the channel because jabbing company does sponsor these videos Welcome back to another episode of Roten for the Wins. What's up, Bug family? So today we're going to do a how-to video. Uh, we're going to take off, take off this piece of the bumper because this uh, is going to be sanded, and we're going to spray paint it uh, gloss black. We ordered ordered a new grill, Silverado grill, stack lights. So we're going to get rid of the sill beam lights, and we're going to do the Euro lights. Also today we're gonna uh, get some lights for the tag. We don't have any tag lights and uh, honestly the plugs look kind of corroded. So we'll see if they work or not. But I'm gonna show you guys the truck, man. So the truck I picked up last night, is, it, it has been lowered. We have the uh, flip kit on the rear and we dropped it down five inches. So I'm gonna show you guys that. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and take this grill off that way I can run to the store and I can grab some paint for it. Also, also pick up some uh, tag lights and just do some some cleaning. Uh, since we got daylight, we're gonna do some cleaning inside of the truck because it still smells like a work truck. So finally getting rid of this old work grill, man. So excited! And we got the plates yesterday too, so that's a big thumbs up. The bolts that you're gonna need to take off this one for sure. Uh, this one, um, I know it's a bolt, but this one is not on there but it'll be a boat right here that you need to take off um and that should bring it up man and i'm gonna take this bottom piece off so yeah that should be a few screws To this piece right here you're gonna need to it look like a seven millimeter screw right here right here where my finger is it's another one so when you're trying to take the grill off you got to come in and kind of un, unclamp that this is like you would have a screw right here but it wasn't one right there I got a rock right here but um yeah and then over here I have another screw then right here and then it'll come on up. So that's that's what we're gonna be painting today. Alright, so I took the, the caps off the wheels. Um, I'm going to prep them up and then I'm going to spray them black as well. I got some masking tape to mask off this area. That way it's still so the uh, Chevy emblem and uh, the bottom of the grill will get painted as well. So let's get to it. Ladybug out here helping me. <laughs> So this is one coat, something light. We're starting on the caps for the truck. This one, that's one. Knock those off. Thank you, baby.
All right, what's up, man? Um, I laid down a second coat on uh, the trim of the truck. Uh, it's 40, 45 degrees out here in Vegas, so it's taking a little bit longer to, it's like, well, it's taking a long time to dry. So with me laying a second coat down, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna let it probably dry until like, nightfall hit. Uh, and then I'm gonna uh, pack it up and I'm probably gonna finish next Saturday or something like that. I let it fully dry and then I come back over it if I need a, uh, I'm sure I'm gonna need a few more coats because it's not taken because it's so cold. Um, yeah, let me show you how it looks. It looks pretty good. I did the gloss black. Um, it's not perfect, but it look it looks pretty decent. Like I was saying, like a lot of it's not taken. It's because it's still kind of it's cold out here. But the caps, I think it's gonna look good with that black grill. It's gonna look good with the black grill. So that's the five inch drop on it. It looks good i like it uh this is my style i mean this is my liking uh i know a lot of people uh they like their truck stance different you know um i prefer mine to be lowered in the back that way when i do put new wheels and tires on it it's gonna squat on the bigger uh the bigger wheel so uh it looks good uh again uh these lights this whole grill is gonna be changed out um i have the black silverado grill this is the work truck grill i have the black Sil silverado grill stack headlights uh they're blacked out but it's, it's clear blacked out and like in the inside of the assembly it's black but it's clear so it's going to give it a different look then i got the black bow tie but what i'm probably going to do eventually uh i'm going to probably get like the black bow tie that i have i'm probably going to get it like outlined in like this color green or something like that or gold or so something to make it pop because the black grill with the black bow tie is gonna like it's gonna blend in you're really not gonna see the emblem but i mean that's just you know small things uh, i gotta figure out the um the windshield wiper situation for some reason it likes to kind of be like you know slanted like that so i guess it's something with the motor the guy told me it's a new motor uh, as far as the uh the What's your wiper go? So I kind of figured it out later. But yeah, this is Sydney, man. Uh, this is the drop. I dropped it off Friday. Well, right now it's Sunday. Today is Sunday. I dropped it off Friday at six o'clock, and I uh, picked it up Saturday at six. So roughly 24 hours. They put a um, a flip kit on it, and it dropped by five inches. So I'm loving it. Uh, Ladybug just pulled up, so she got some snacks for me. But yeah, I'm loving it, man. It looks good. And uh, we'll pick up next week when I put the third coat on it. I'm probably going to put two more coats. And then probably do a, a, probably two or three uh, clear coats. So.